This is Narsimha, senior lecturer in Botany, Narayana Educational Institutions. So, today we will discuss about biological classification. First of all, biology. Okay, biology. Biology. The word first coined by. The word first coined by. The word first coined by Lamarck. The biology word first coined by Lamarck. What is the meaning of biology? Bio means bio means life. Bio means life. Then logi bio logi l o g i biology means study. Biology means study so then in this biology father of biology aristotle father of father of biology father of biology aristotle aristotle so he was classified plants and animals so what he was classified plants and animals so plant as well as animalia plant as well as animalia so the plants are classified three classes one is the house second one is the shrub next one is the trees next one is the trees then the animals he was classified two classes one is the Okay, one is the anemia. Next, another one is the anemia. Okay, so in this, this anemia it consists red blood cells, red or B C, but it's not consists do not R B C. Okay, according to Aristotle, he was classified. Okay, plant as well as animalia. This plant two classes, three. One is the herbs. Second one is the shrubs. Next another one is the trees. Next in this animalia, the two classes is the one is the animalia. It consists red blood cells. Next another one is the second one is animalia. It's not consists. red blood cells then another one is the then classification so father of okay father of taxonomy the taxonomy 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 what first coined by d kandur a p d kandoli d kandoli so the father of taxonomy linnaeus father of father of taxonomy father of taxonomy linnaeus okay father of taxonomy linnaeus then and the linnaeus he was classified the plants based on stamens as well as carpels okay so according to linnaeus linnaeus wrote books what are the books Systema Naturae, Systema, Systema Naturae. Next another one is the Species Plantarum, Six Species Plantarum. Next one is the Genus Plantarum, Genus Plantarum. Next one, fourth one is the Philosophica. philosophica philosophica botanica botanica so carol carolus linnaeus he wrote four books one is the systema naturae second one is the species plantarum third one is the genus plantarum or genera plantarum genera plantarum next one is the philosophica botanica he was introduced and popularized popularized binomial nomenclature 
binomial binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature so that's why the father of taxonomy in plant taxonomy and animal taxonomy carolus one linnaeus okay so in this biological classification one is a biology father of biology okay aristotle father of biology aristotle next one is a, what is the meaning of biology okay so bios means life logi means study or to speak or to speak then another one is a, according to aristotle he was classified plants and animals okay one is a house second one is a shop third one is a trees next one is a animalia okay so which is consists of red blood cells that is called as anemia next another one is a, which is not consists red blood cells it's not it's, can, it's called as anemia next another one is a, taxonomy so in this taxonomy okay so first coined by ap d condor okay taxonomy first coined by ap d condor so father of taxonomy linnaeus he popularized binomial nomenclature okay so in this he wrote four books one is a system and axle other one species plantarum other one genera plantarum next one another one is a philosophica botanica next another one is a in this what is the need okay the binomial nomenclature what is the need okay need of binomial biological classification one is the all living organisms all living organisms organisms not do not occur do not occur do not occur one place one place second one is that it helps second one second it helps it helps so okay differences between differences between differences and relation and relationship and relationship between organisms organisms next fourth one is the it is it helps it help it helps evolutionary relationship evolutionary evolutionary relation relationship so what is the need biological classification three most important characters about biological classification all living organisms do not occur in one place then it helps different relationship between organisms next it helps evolution relationship these are the main characters about biological classification so then we will discuss about uh, what are the biological kingdoms okay so the biological classification okay so two kingdom of classification okay then another one is a three kingdom of classification four kingdom of classification and five kingdom of classification and six kingdom of classification let us we will discuss about uh, two kingdom of classification the two kingdom of biological classification classified by linnaeus the two kingdom of biological classification classified by linnaeus okay now we will discuss about linnaeus classification linnaeus classification okay two kingdom of two kingdom of kingdom of class biological classification okay so it's also called as linnaeus classification okay next another one is a uh, sexual reproduction sexual classification linnaeus classification linnaeus was considered okay so linnaeus linnaeus 1758 okay linnaeus classified 1758 okay he was classified plants and animals plantae as well as animalia plantae as well as animalia 
animalia. So according to him, the plants. Okay, according to him, the plants he was classified based on stamens. Stamen or or carpels. Okay, carpel. So according to him, the plants are twenty-four groups. The plants twenty-four groups. Twenty-four. Groups. So, what are the twenty-four groups? So first one is the monandria. Monandria. Okay. So monandria means okay. One flower it consists only one stamen. One flower. One flower plus one stamen. One stamen. So then another one is the diandria. Okay. Diandria. So diandria. Then another one is the this continuously monandria, diandria, dec triandria, decandria. He was classified up to twenty-four groups. Okay. So twenty-four groups. According to Linnaeus, the plant kingdom he was classified twenty-four groups. Okay. The twenty-four groups based on these stamens or carpels. One is a monandria start with one flower. In this plant, one flower it consists only one stamen. That type of plant is called as monandria. Diandria, one flower. Okay, two flowers. Okay, one flower it consists two stamens. Two stamens. That type of plant is called as diandria. Next another is a triandria. One flower it consists of three stamens. That it's called as triandria. Okay. So finally, it was classified twenty-four groups of this in this plant. Next another is a the animals. Okay. The animals it was classified based on this blood. So if you maybe it consists of blood that it's a red in color that it's called as anemia. Next another is a okay which which organisms are not consist of red blood cells not consist of red blood cells it's called as anemia okay so this is the two kingdom of biological classification two kingdom of biological classification classified by linnaeus okay this type of classification is also called as okay sexual classification or artificial classification next another one is the okay next one is the three kingdom of biological classification three kingdom of biological biological classification the three kingdom of biological classification okay classified by ernest haeckel the ernest ernest haeckel Ernest Haeckel, 1866. The Ernest Haeckel, he was classified the living organisms are three kingdoms. So according to him, the three kingdoms. What are the three kingdoms? One is the Protista. One is the Protista. Second one is the Plantae. Next one is the Animalia. Any media. So according to Ernest Haeckel, okay. So in this protista, the in this protista all unicellular, 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 prokaryotic, prokaryotic, prokaryotic organisms. All unicellular prokaryotic organisms are included in this protista. Next another one is the plantae, autotrophic. Next another is a heterotrophic. Next another one is a not motile, not motile. Okay. Next another one is a it can motile. Okay. So next another one is a not so vacuole is present. Vacuole. Next another one is a not vacuole. Okay. These are the differences in between no, protista and plantae as well as animalia in this unicellular organisms and prokaryotic okay unicellular organisms and prokaryotic and uh, in this plantae autotrophic as well as not motile or not mo locomotion next one is a vacuole is present 
vacuole is present next another one is the here is a heterotrophs next another is a it can motile next another is a it's not consist vacuoles okay this is called as hernes heckel classification or three kingdom of biological classification next another one is the okay what are what is the demeric of biological three kingdom of biological classification in this they are not separated prokaryotes and eukaryotes okay that is the major demerits about this three kingdom of biological classification next another one is the next another one is the four kingdom of biological classification four kingdom of four kingdom of biological biological classification so the four kingdom of biological classification classified by okay copy land copy land aka in 1956 okay so four kingdom of biological classification classified by copy land in 1956 so according to him the biological organisms are five four kingdoms one is the pro protista one is the protista second one is the monera next one is the pla plantae next another one is the animalia animalia so according to copland or four kingdom biological classification this it consists of four kingdoms one is the protista the protista consists of all unicellular unicellular pro eukaryotes 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 what is the important character about protista unicellular eukaryotes okay autotrophic autotrophs chlorophyllous 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 okay it's called as protista next another one is monera unicellular unicellular next another one is prokaryotes prokaryotes it's may be autotrophic or chemoautotrophs or heterotrophs or saprophytes best example is in this monera bacteria okay best example is bacteria next one is a protista best example is a okay chrysophytes okay chrysophytes next chrysophytes next another one is a dinoflagellates next one is a plantae we must classify the plants okay crypto next in this plantae we must classify the one is a cryptogams next one is the phylogams algae bryophytes okay next one is the angiosperms okay so gymnosperms gymnosperms so then another one is the red blood cells red blood cell organisms are there next one is the not having red blood cells are there so according to copeland okay so the plant kingdoms are four one is the protista second one is the monera third one is the plantae fourth one is the animalia in this protista unicellular next one is the eukaryotes autotrophic because it consists of chlorophylls it shows photosynthesis it can prepare food material by wall it's it may be it can utilize chemicals okay then another one is the chlorophyllous next another one is the monera kingdom monera okay so unicellular prokaryotic okay chemoautotrophs or heterotrophs or saprophytes or parasites this type of kingdom it's called as monera so then another one is the best example is the bacteria so next so this bacteria so what are the major difference between monera and protist 
system. The monilas are cell wall made by okay peptidoglycan. Next one, protista cell wall made by an acetyl glucosamine. Next one is a plant cell wall made by cellulose. Next one, the animalia cell wall is absent. This is the four kingdom of biological classification. Then we will discuss about the five kingdom. Okay, five kingdom of five kingdom. Five kingdom of biological biological classification. The five kingdom of biological classification classified by R H R H Whitaker R H Whitaker. According to him, the R H Whitaker, the living organisms are five kingdoms. One is the Monera. Second one is the Protista. Next to third one is the fungi. Next to fourth one is the plantae. Next to fifth one is the animalia. Animalia. So according to H. R. H. Whitaker, the all living organisms, okay, five kingdoms are there. One is the monera, protista, fungi. Plant a animalia. So, so now we will discuss about the uh, Rh Whitaker classification. Rh Whitaker classified five kingdoms. Rh Whitaker Whitaker classification. Rh Whitaker classification. He was classified five kingdoms. So, what are the five kingdoms? Monera. Next another is the protista. Next another is the fungi. Next another is the plantae. Next another is the animalia. Animalia. So what we are observed, what you are considered, what are the characters? So one is the cell. Okay. So according to R H Whitaker, the monera. Cells are prokaryotic, prokaryotic, okay, prokaryotic. Cell nucleus is absent, nucleus, nucleus absent, nucleus is absent. Then another one is the this, okay, eukaryotic, eukaryotic. Here also eukaryotes, here also eukaryotes. Here also eukaryotic organisms. Except to monera, everyone is eukaryotic organisms. Next another is a okay cell wall. Cell wall. So then another one is a in monera cell wall is made by an acetyl and acetyl and acetyl glucosamine glucosamine. Okay, in acetyl glucosamine. So it's made by polysaccharides, polysaccharides plus amino acids. And acetyl glucosamine, it's made by polysaccharides plus amino acids. Okay. So then another one is in this protista cell wall made by peptidoglycan. Peptido glycan. Okay. Peptido glycan. The fungi cell wall is the fungi cell wall made by chitin. The fungi cell wall made by chitin. Next, the plantae cell wall made by cellulose. Cellulose. Hemi cellulose. Hemi cellulose. Next, another one is that in animalia cell wall is absent animalia cell wall is absent in this according to rh whitaker in monera protista fungi plantae and animalia especially it was observed two characters one is the cell in monera prokaryote because nucleus is absent in protista and fungi and plantae and animalia nucleus is present Next another one is the 
सेल्वा डी सेल्वा मेड बाय एन एसिटाइल ग्लूकोजामाइन नेक्स्ट ऑफ एन एसिटाइल ग्लूकोजामाइन इट्स मेड बाय पॉलीसैकराइड्स प्लस अमाइनो एसिड डी एन एसिटाइल ग्लूकोजामाइन इट्स मेड बाय पॉलीसैकराइड प्लस अमाइनो एसिड नेक्स्ट आंसर इज अ पेप्टिडोग्लाइकान ओके प्रोटीस्टा सेल्वा मेड बाय पेप्टिडोग्लाइकान नेक्स्ट आंसर वन इज अ फंगाइ सेल्वा मेड बाय काइटिन फंगाइ सेल्वा मेड बाय काइटिन नेक्स्ट वन दी काइटिन इट्स ए मोनोपॉलीमरा सेल्युलोस दी काइटिन इट्स ए मोनोपॉलीमरा सेल्युलोस नेक्स्ट आंसर वन इज अ प्लांटे सेल्वा इट्स मेड बाय सेल्युलोस एंड हेमी सेल्युलोस नेक्स्ट आंसर वन इज अ एनिमेलिया प्लांट सेल्वा इज एनिमेलिया सेल्वा इज एब्सेंट नेक्स्ट आंसर वन इज अ ओके नेक्स्ट ऑफ न्यूक्लियस ओके नेक्स्ट आंसर वन इज अ बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो द मोनिरा सेल्वा इट्स ए सेल्युलर मोनिरा प्लांट मोनिरा बॉडी इट्स ए सेल्युलर नेक्स्ट आंसर वन इज अ प्रोटीस्टा बॉडी इट्स ए सेल्युलर सेल्युलर नेक्स्ट आंसर इज अ फंगाइ बॉडी इट्स ए मल्टी सेल्युलर मल्टी सेल्युलर मल्टी सेल्युलर आरलास लूज टिश्यू लूज टिश्यू मल्टी सेल्युलर आरलास लूज टिश्यू नेक्स्ट ऑफ इन दिस सेल्युलर आरलास सेल्युलर बिकॉज़ दिस टू किंगडम्स इट्स ए यूनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स इट्स ए मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम नेक्स्ट अनदर वन इज अ प्लांट ए मल्टी सेल्युलर मल्टी सेल्युलर नेक्स्ट अनदर वन इज अ टिश्यूज ओके टिश्यू नेक्स्ट अनदर वन इज अ ऑर्गन ओके ऑर्गन नेक्स्ट ऑफ इन दिस एनिमेलिया टिश्यू नेक्स्ट अनदर वन इज अ ऑर्गन सिस्टम ऑर्गन सिस्टम सो दीज आर द थर्ड कैरेक्टर इन Now we will discuss about the RHC mutator classification. He was considered five characters, five characters. Okay. So one of the five characters, one is a cell type. Okay. Second one is a cell wall. Third one is a body organization. Okay. So third, fourth one is a nucleus. Fifth one is a mode of nutrition. So nucleus in Monera. Nucleus is absent. Monera nucleus is absent. In Protista nucleus is present. Nucleus is present. Next to fungi nucleus is present. Nucleus is present. Plant also present. Next to animalia also present. Animalia also present. Except to Monera. Four. One is a protista, fungi, plant, animalia. These four kingdoms nucleus is present. Next another one is a mode of nutrition. So how we can utilize preparation of food material? So manila. It's a manila. It's a chemo autotrophs. Chemo autotrophs. Next another one is a saprophytes. Next another one is a heterotrophs. Heterotrophs. Okay. Next another one is the parasites. So chemoautotrophs, saprophytes, other as heterotrophs, other as parasites. Best example is the photosynthetic bacteria. It's a chemoautotrophs. Photosynthetic bacteria is a chemoautotrophs. So this is the mode of nutrition in Monera. Next another one is the protista. It is okay. So Autotrophic as well as heterotrophs as well as parasites. Okay, autotrophs as well as heterotrophs as well as parasites. Next one that is a fungi. Heterotrophs as well as parasites. Okay, heterotrophs as well as parasites. Next one that is a plants. All plants are autotrophs because photosynthesis. Photosynthesis takes place in this. Plants. Next another is a holozygote. Animals are 
polo joint polo joint next another is a heterotrophs next another is a saprophytes next another is a parasites so these are the major characters are discussed considered in this five kingdom of biological classification one is the cell type cell wall third one is the body of organization fourth one is the nucleus fifth one is the mode of nutrition next one cell type monera only monera it's a prokaryotic next one, remaining all are eukaryotes okay eukaryotic because nucleus is present next one is the cell cell wall made by n acetyl glucosamine the n acetyl glucosamine it's made by polysaccharides plus amino acids next one, peptidoglycan it's made by okay monomers mono monomer of glucose okay monomer of glucose that's why it's present in this protista okay peptidoglycan next another one is the chitin the chitin present only in fungi so it is the most important next one is the plantae cell wall made by cellulose hemicellulose in animals cell wall is absent cell wall is absent next one is the body organization so monera plant monera body is a cellular because it's a, a single cell it's considered as one organism that's why it's a cellular body organization protista it's a single cell it's a single cellular prokaryotes next one it's a single cell we are considered as a one organism it's a consist nucleus that's why it's called as eukaryotes so don't forget in this difference monera and protista next one is a fungi multicellular loose tissue okay multicellular as well as loose tissue next another is a multicellular as well as tissues as well as organs are present in plantae next animalia tissues as well as organ systems are developed character present in this animals next another is a nucleus the nucleus present in okay nucleus absent in monera okay nucleus is absent in monera next to nucleus are present in this protista as well as fungi as well as plantae as well as any media next what is the type of taking food material and preparation of food material so mode of nutrition chemo autotrophs because this bacteria consists of bacterial chlorophyll so that's why it's called as chemo autotrophs okay but in the religious only sulfur but the plants are religious oxygen next or saprophytes as well as heterotrophs as well as parasites next another is a protista autotrophs as well as heterotrophs and parasites but it's also autotroph it's also autotrophs but this monera is a chemo autotrophs it's religious sulfur but it releases oxygen okay then the fungi it's a heterotrophs it's a chlorophyllous chlorophyll is absent heterotrophs and parasites next one is a plantae so completely autotrophs it's preparing food material by coal next one is a animalia so holotype the animals are can eat all that's why it's called as holotype heterotrophs as well as saprophytes as well as parasites this is the rh we take a classification okay so what are the merits of rh we take a classification so now we will discuss about merits merits of five kingdom five kingdom classification so first one is that he was classified he was separated okay unicellular unicellular and prokaryotes prokaryotes and eukaryotes next another is that he was placed placed fungi fungi as a kingdom okay as a 
kingdom is he was explained evolution evolutionary relationship of one kingdom to another kingdom evolutionary evolutionary relationship to relation ship okay evolutionary relation ship so what are the merits of rh bitaker classification unicellular organisms were separated okay prokaryotes and eukaryotes okay next one is the placed fungi as a kingdom next one is the evolutionary relationship okay these are the merits of five kingdom classification so what are the demerits okay what are the demerit of five kingdom classification he was not placed or he was not discussed about virus he was not discussed about virus not considered not considered so this is the five kingdom of biological classification now we will discuss about the six kingdom of biological classification six kingdom of six kingdom of biological classification biological classification so the six kingdom of biological classification explained by carl woos carl woos so the six kingdom of biological classification explained by carl woos according to him he was considered 16 years 16 years ribosomes 16 years ribosomes okay 16 years ribosomes next another one is the rna age okay rna age he was considered to two characters that's why this type of classification is called six kingdom of biological classification what are the six kingdoms one is the okay one is the archi bacteria one is the archi bacteria next another one is the u bacteria u bacteria next another one is the protista protista next fourth one is the fungi fourth one is the fungi fifth one is the plantae fifth one is the plantae six one is the animalia animalia so in this archi bacteria so this archi bacteria it was considered it's a one kingdom so it consists of an acetyl an acetyl glucosamine okay an acetyl glucosamine next another is a u bacteria cell wall it's made by peptido glycan and acetyl glucosamine next uh, u bacteria it's a cell wall made by peptido glycan next another is a protista cell wall it's made by cellulose okay next another one is a fungi cell wall it's made by chitin next another one is a plantae as well as animalia the six kingdom of biological classification also we are classified three domains also we are classified three domains okay three domains what are the three domains archi archi next another is the bacteria u bacteria next another one is the u carrier u carrier u carrier so these are the three domains are present in this six kingdom of biological classification six kingdom of biological classification classified by carlos by next one is a this he was considered 16 years ribosomes as well as rna next another is a what are the six kingdoms one is the archi second one is the u bacteria third one is a protista next one is a fungi next one is a plantae next one is a animalia so one second kingdom third fourth five as well as six these are the six kingdoms 
we are also called as three domains what are the three domains or key this it can give lowest temperature as well as highest temperature lowest temperature as well as highest temperature so it can give okay so it's not consist of nucleus not consist nucleus next another one is a eukarya nucleus is present nucleus is present okay nucleus is present so this is called as six kingdom of biological classification now we will discuss about okay what are the relationship okay okay then another one is so now we will discuss about evolutionary relationship of five kingdom biological classification so in this what are the relationship so one is the first one is the monera next one second one is the protista protista okay then the monera are okay the monera it's a prokaryotic monera it's a prokaryotic second one is a protista it's a eukaryotic eukaryotic monera it's a unicellular unicellular next another one is a here also uni uni cellular okay next up in this the protista it's a okay here is a monera unicellular organism protista unicellular but it's a prokaryotic protista it's a eukaryotic then another one is the plant kingdom next another one is the okay this is the plant next up this is the fungi next one is the animalia any maria so in this the plant kingdom it can start with a unicellular organism that is called as chlamydomonas chlamydomonas so the chlamydomonas it's a algae next up bryophyta next up another one is a pteridophyta next another one is a gymnosperms next one is a angiosperms so in plant kingdom it can start with a unicellular to multicellular unicellular to multicellular it's a evolutionary relationship in plant kingdom unicellular organism chlamydomonas okay algae bryophyta pteridophytes gymnosperms other as angiosperms next one is the fungi the in this fungi loose tissues are there one is the mastigomycotina zygomycotina ascomycotina basidiomycotina and last digitomycotina digitomycotina it's a fungi imperfect fungi or incomplete fungi so these are the five classes are present in this fungi next another one is the animalia this animalia the animal kingdom it can start with a unicellular organism that the best example is the amoeba okay amoeba or paramecium okay paramecium next up this unicellular organism to multicellular organisms non chordates to chordates non chordates to chordates so in this plant it's a okay mode of nutrition okay nutrition in this kingdoms nutrition it's a the plant kingdom nutrition it's a autotrophic because it's involves in photosynthesis it can prepare food material by photosynthesis that's why it's called as autotrophs next fungi it's a heterotrophs 
fungi is a heterotrophs. Next another one is the plants are polyjoic. Plants are polyjoic. Next one, plants all plants are autotrophs. Next one, fungi is a decomposer. 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 Next another one is the all animals are consumers. All animals are consumers. This is the evolutionary relationship in five kingdom of biological classification. One is the monera. It's a unicellular prokaryotes. In unicellular prokaryotes. So then another one is the protista. Unicellular eukaryotes. So in this uh, both are unicellular, but nucleus is absent in this pro monera. Nucleus is present in this protista. Then this plant is agala, fungi is agala, animalia developed from protista. So it's a unicellular. Here also unicellular. In plant kingdom unicellular chlamydomonas. In animal kingdom unicellular amoeba or paramecium. Next up, the unicellular organism to multicellular organism developed in this plant kingdom. Algae, bryophyta, plant kingdom. Uh, Pterodophytes, as well as gymnosperms, as well as angiosperms. The plants are autotrophs and producers. Autotrophs, as well as producers. Next one is a fungi. It's a heterotrophs, decomposers. Okay, heterotrophs, as well as decomposers. Next animals, holotype. It can eat all. Next another one is a consumers. It can utilize the another food materials. This is the evolutionary relationship in five kingdom of classification.